Good morning, gorgeous people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. This is ABL Reselling. Good grief, it's warm. <laughs> Well, after four o'clock in the morning, we're off to the boot sales. Obviously, that's probably the main reason you come back and watch these videos. <laughs> I'm very, very conscious of what I'm picking up at the minute, though, because exciting news, there is a move in the offing. More to follow on that, but stay tuned. Consequently, I'm going to be looking for small items, bigger profit. I mean, isn't everybody looking for that? <laughs> I think what I'm saying is it's going to make me a little bit more choosy today. Fortunately, I have got a bit of a pile of stuff to list still. So that's helping with the through flow of sales. But we can't waste this decent weather. It's going to be a good turnout today. I'm going to aim to hit Bursco and hopefully Bolton as well. See how we get on. So without further ado, let's get on the road, see what we can find. <laughs> How much is your helmet? Um, 20 for the helmet and the gloves. Yeah. It's never been used. Small. Maybe a 35 pound flip. Not really enough meat on the bones for me. No. I saw those last week. How cute are they? I know, aren't they lovely? <laughs> my husband was ordering for my son. Yeah. Um, whatever size they are. And they come, obviously, and the, the, the baby ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bless. So, uh, yeah. You'd have those as an ornament. <laughs> well, do you know, I said that we're, they're just a tiny bit too big to hang off my windscreen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what the cues aren't they? Excellent. Is your bag? Cool. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Nine. Yeah. How much are they? Five. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. How much is your boppet? I've never seen that version before. I know. So it's got a charging lead as well. Yeah. So it's not batteries in it. Happy days. <laughs> it's probably worth three quid, isn't it? <laughs> That's great. Cheers. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Ta. Totally got that on the wing of a prayer. So let's have a look at it. Pop it download. No search results. Me in condition. There's 10 used and one new. What on earth is that? How much are your bowls, buddy? Eight quid from there. Eight quid. Oh, it's not worth haggling for that, is it? <laughs> Not bothered playing. Yeah. It's one of those, innit? You go through phases, we haven't you? Have you got change, sorry? Two there. Smashing. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. How much have you got on them? Men's. The men's, she's got 45, haven't you? 45. Yeah. How much are these, Mum? How much is a jacket? 40. 40. Yeah. Would you come to 30? Uh, maybe later on, but. Yeah. Got here, yeah, yeah, no drivers are going to ask, in you? Yeah. How you doing, man? You alright? Yeah. Light up them, mate. It's LEDs, they light up 240 volts. I have to show you them work, and I've got an inverter in the car. Oh, how, much, well, how much have we got on them? But, uh, some of 40, between 45 and 50 quid. Yeah. 
That's all I've got there. I've uh, been a couple of shows here last week, so when they uh, yeah. all loads. All oh, right, the all different ones, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all different ones. I've had there the C thousand discos. Yeah. Uh, Jaggy was. Do you make them yourself? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, do you? <laughs> well, it's that clever. <laughs> yeah. Get all coloured ones as well. I get all the. Uh, Put all of for about 18. Okay. Yeah. So the football club, look at everything. What's your trainers? Super Can't say no at Super, can I really? No, you can't. Someone stops in before you. I'll see ya. Cheers, lad, yeah. cheers. Thanks, mate. How much have you got on them? I want a tenner for them. Yeah, I'll do a tenner on those. I'll take you for the other one. Yeah, I'll do the other one. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, cheers. I just, you've not got the box, I suppose, I have you? No. no worries. Cheers, oh, lovely, thank, thank you. you. Is your Furby? Hello. You do two on it? Should do three. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Which of those? Mate. I've got those, Paul. Uh, so you're five? Yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Morning. Morning. How much are your pots? Thank you. Well, ten pounds because they're really expensive, and yep. do five pounds for the small one. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's great. Thank you very much. What is I'll take this. Thank you. Did you want them both? Yeah. Oh right. Okay. There you go. We get them soon. Yeah, it's, it's very well known, aren't they, La Cruz? Well, yeah. I've got a couple at home, but I think uh, I've, I've got enough now. So. I don't know if I've seen one that big before. Have you not? No. no. Right, thank, thank you. you Ava, it's really busy, isn't it? Thank so, you very much. Yeah, Cheers. Nice thank oh, you. Yeah. Brilliant. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Because my daughter all like that. <laughs> Cheers. Thank okay, you. Thanks very much. Thanks. Cheers. This is new, actually, um, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's, uh, and that's hardly been used. I think it's been used about twice. Yeah, it looks pretty shiny. <laughs> just trying to see if I just turn it around, just want yes, to see the model. Yeah, shiny. Glasses, you know, champagne glasses. I've got that broken. Take that one, thanks. And it's actually got a tape in this. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, there we go. Some change. Thank you very lovely. much. Thank you. That's great. How much is that, love? Two quid. Probably worth two quid, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, love. Thank See you before I come. They're three pounds, oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. There That's you go, great. my love. Cheers. Thank Have you. a good day. And you. Thank 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 yeah, I was going to say, never opened, is it? Bargain. <laughs> and I just had three quid in my hand as well. Thank you so much. How much is your train set? Train set. Did we Google that? We're just... We were saying 50, but there's no track, there's, there's no, no track, track in it. Just but it's just a track. Oh, right, okay. Quid on eBay, so. Would that be complete, though? 
Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just quite good. I'd sleep without the trap. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, How much is your chest set? Pounds. Would you do a tenner on your skates? No, mate. She's asking. The size 11. Yeah. And she paid um, about 70 pounds for them. Right, got you. But, but, she's open to take off us. Yeah. Take below 20. That's fair enough, yeah. Yeah, I can do 20. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Okay, mate. Thank you. That is me down at the Bursco Boots Hill. Let's get over to Bolton and see what we can find there. You have to be careful with the wind. How much? Six pounds. Fifty quid, any of the trick left on the corner for doing most of your being done, please. Can we try? You can it for a tenner, mate. It's worth 30, 40 quid. So one of the metal spots. Yeah, yeah. Dots, whatever they call them. Brings your pictures up on the front. Do you have the power for it? I haven't, that's the only thing. I yeah, haven't no got that's why it's a tenner. Well, that was very strange. Uh, Bolter is absolutely rammed with sellers, but I didn't pick up a single thing. I'm not too gutted though, to be fair, because they do really well at Burska, and as I said at the top of the video, quite conscious about what I'm bringing in at the minute because there's a move pending. My God, it's warm. I think it's gonna have to be a cold shower before nap time today, but nap time's definitely on the cards. I am flagging. After which I'll take you through what I picked up and obviously tell you how much it's getting listed for. I shall see you in a little while. I make absolutely no apologies for the sound of the fan going on behind me. It is warm. Very surprised I didn't pick up anything from Bolton, but like I said before, I did pretty well at Burst because I'm not too disappointed. I never would have found out if I hadn't have gone, so there's always that angle to look at. Right, let's strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I picked up. So total spend today was £165 and for that I picked up 29 items. Starting with the footwear, which is becoming a bit of a habit. First out we got quad skates here. Quad skates are really good sellers for me, particularly ones like these. These are Ventro Pro. Not exactly the highest end of the, the range, but they are a recognised brand. They're a size 11, I'm led to believe. Now the all black, slightly more modern versions of the Ventro Pro, you can be commanding 70 80 pound for used but because this is probably a little less desirable colors i think if memory serves i've sold exactly this color scheme in ventro pro before can't remember when how much blah 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 but these particular ones are going to put a listing value of 45 pounds on next up standard pickup for me these are army issue altberg defender boots these are in 
excellent condition really in fact this i would even go so far as to say they may not have been worn at all because the soles are flawless my size as well so i might keep these for a bit actually i'm a big fan of these boots but for the video listing value i'm going to put on those is 40 pound slightly less militaristic ones these are tommy hilfiger boots brand spanking new they have been in storage and they haven't got a box so they're going to need a once over with a suede brush tag price on is 150 pound i'd have to check back on the videos for how much i paid for them i think it was about a tenner i may revise the valuation up on these as well because they're a nice boot size five and the listing value i'm going to put on those is 35 pound Nike Hypervenom Turf Boots. I've sold a loads of pairs of these in the past, so quite confident with a listing value on those of £20. Might have made a bit of a boob on this one. I'm, I really stay away from safety boots because I've never found many with uh, much value at all. The brand on these is Buckler Boots. It's, there are some precedent for them, but not massive amount, but I'm gonna put a listing value nonetheless on these of £20. And last for footwear, a standard pair of Vans. Nice that they're in their own box. They are definitely used, albeit not very much. Listing value on those, £16. Now, I've never seen this version of Bop It before. This is Bop It Download. And it's a really unusual one in the respect of when I checked comps on it, it didn't actually show anything in the results, but it did say there was 10 comps, which is very peculiar. I've checked it on the desktop since for my evaluation and it does display, but for some reason on the app, it doesn't. No idea why. On some versions of Bop It, the Bop It Extreme and the Bop It Extreme 2, you can be looking at 25 to 30 pound used. But on this particular one, even though it's in its box and got all its bits, listing value 18 pound now at first i thought this meccano was used because the box looked a little bit tatty but it's not it's sealed i checked that it hadn't been opened and taped and all that kind of stuff and listening to this bit sliding about inside it's up they sound like they're in the plastic bags so it's sealed so i can sell it as new but obviously mention the fact that it's a tatty box listing value on that because it's new 20 pound now, just recently, I sold a 2006 Furby by the Tiger brand Furby for £110. This one's the app version. Nice that it's got its box with it, so a bit of a selling point there. Not £110 this time, though, sadly. Listing value on that one, £25. Never seen this game before. This is Unstable Unicorns. New and sealed. Only paid a couple of quid for it. Listing value on that, £13. Now we've got a trio of reversible thermal jackets. These are army issue. One in a compression sack and they all, all three of them are exactly the same look like this so basically there's an olive green on the outside and obviously for desert wear you can reverse it so these three jackets going to put a listing value of 25 pound each on them two army sleeping bags today the first of which is a jungle sleeping bag most notable by the fact it's a lot smaller than the standard issue one not great value in the jungle sleeping bags because really i mean let's face it i know we're in the heat wave at the moment but we don't get much chance to use jungle gear in the uk listing value on that sleeping bag 20 pound now this was really 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 surprising this is a, a phillips pocket memo 381 check the comps on these guys i was blown away by the value on this obviously they paid two pound for it and the listing value is 50 pound there are actually comps higher than that but i'm going to play it safe there are some comps lower than that as well i've got it there is a tape in this and i've got a couple of tapes look at a couple of new tapes that i can bundle with it as well another army sleeping bag this is a medium weight sleeping bag you, this can be confused with the arctic sleeping bag they look very very similar usually you'll have a tag on the bag that tells you what it is as well value wise they're much of a muchness the arctic sleeping bag and the medium weight sleeping bag because the listing value on that is 45 pound two le creuset pants i don't think i've seen one this big before two casserole pans 126 inch 122 inch they are pretty good condition as well actually they're certainly the ones i've had in the past have been uh, have needed quite a bit of work in terms of cleaning up these ones not so much I paid 15 pound for both of them and the breakdown price wise is the larger of the two 40 pound and the smaller of the two 30 pound 
always raise an eyebrow when I see a head bag and preferably it's the older leather ones but across the board they can hold pretty good money in fact bags can often be worth looking at branded rucksacks and the like my best result on a head bag is the larger sort of like 80s version leather one I think it was a red and black it's one of the ones that have a zip off compartment on the end I think that went for 70 pound there thereabouts didn't pay very much for this one at all and it's a comfortable 20 pound listing value you guys know I like my bowls. This was a real result for all these. All these bowls came in that bag and I paid eight pounds for the lot. These unbranded wooden bowls, quite often these will get used for ornaments. Because they're not branded, it makes them a little bit harder to sell. Anyway, there is a market for them and the listing one I'm gonna put on those. So those two on their own for 20 pound. Now the others I'm going to sell as a set because these are Thomas Taylor bowls, size four. They come in a set of four. Thomas Taylor, a much more recognisable brand. It has an unbranded jack with it and a Slazenger jack that I'll probably just chuck in because there's no value to it in itself. I have actually sold branded jacks on their own for about £20 before now, but I'm going to sell those six balls as a set for £50. It's really, really nice army waterproof jacket. It's a lightweight jacket with a fleece collar. The pattern on this is MTP, which I think is a, it's more modern than I'm used to. So pardon me if I get this wrong. MTP will most likely stand for multi-terrain pattern, as opposed to the other jacket, which is DPM, which is disruptive pattern material. For the more modern jacket, anyway, listing value on that one, 22 pound. Another thermal jacket, this is by DuPont, Thermalite jacket. This isn't reversible. So I'm gonna put a slightly lesser value on that of 20 pound. Fleece line thermal smock, this is a pullover, obviously again, army issue. Bit more of a desirable bit of kit this, so I'm gonna put a listing value of 25 pound on it and as i mentioned before the last of the military gear this is an older style dpm camouflage jacket on military equipment they'll often have an identification label so you can tell that it is actually army issue and not some mickey mouse gear basically listing value on this jacket it's got a stowaway hood as well that doesn't feel like it uh, has been used listing value on this jacket 25 pound now that's it for stuff that I bought to sell, but I did actually treat myself today as well to these four items here. I do like my Under Armour gear, so I bought this nice Under Armour top. I treated myself to a new tape gun because my tape gun gets absolutely hammered to death. And this one just feels a lot better quality. I treated myself to some smellies as well. This smells absolutely lovely. I think it's just paid a fiver for that. And lastly from today, this is going to be used in conjunction with some news I have coming up very, very soon. So watch out for that. It's just a standard 12 volt battery charger. A real variety of pickups today and obviously quite a good return as well. So no complaints from me. There's bound to be something that I missed as I've been going around. So if you spotted anything that I didn't, feel free to let me know in the comments of this video. If you found any value at all, any, any entertainment or useful info, hit the thumbs up give us a channel a bit of a boost thanks much appreciated now as well as hitting the subscribe button if you hit the notification bell you'll get notifications of upcoming videos i'm saying that particularly this time because there is some news coming up that you may well want to know about i'm not going to let it get out of the bag just yet <laughs> i shall leave that on there as a teaser until next time ladies and gentlemen i've been dave keith you've been amazing see you soon